Don't, don't get hip hop. <laughs> In this video, we're going to look at how to change the travel on a 36 NA air shaft system. This can be found from the 2015 to the current models. To carry out a travel change on your 36, you will need a soft paper towel, a syringe, a rubber mallet, a high pressure shock pump, a small flathead screwdriver, 8 and 13 mil crush washers, a T8 Torx driver, 20 weight gold suspension fluid, some slick honey grease, a pin spanner, 36 neg plate spacers, a 32mm chamferless socket, a ratchet, a torx wrench, a 32 and a 36 damper removal tool, 10 and 15mm socket or T-bar, a 2mm and a 2.5mm allen key. So the 36 is available in three different chassis. The 831 where the travel can be set from 100mm to 130mm, the 160mm chassis where the travel can be set from 110mm to 160mm, and the 180mm chassis, which the travel can be set from 130 to 180. All the travels can be set in 10mm increments. We're going to be working on a 160mm chassis fork with the travel already set at 160. So we're going to fit two 10mm spacers, taking it down to 140mm. Remove the air valve cap. And then what we're going to do is make a note of what pressure we are running before carrying out any job. Just so after once you've done the job, you can return back to that pressure. So we're using 70 PSI, so remove your pump and then release all the air from the fork. All right, so no air left in the fork, and then lift the fork up, remove your adjuster cover, put that safe, put that to one side, you then got a Two mil Allen key to remove your adjuster. So take that off again, put that somewhere safe. Now we're going to be using a 15 mil and a 10 mil. Start off with your 10 mil. Now Again, these are your base nuts, put them somewhere safe. And then your 15 mil on your damper side. You've got to use your damper removal tools. Got the smaller one, that's just 32 mil. So that will go on your air shaft side. So you wind that on about three quarters of the way onto the thread. Then you've got your 34, 36 and 40 damper removal tool, a bit bigger. This sits on your damper side. Again, wind that on about three quarters of the way onto the thread. Now when they're in place, get your rubber mallet. Now, nice firm grip onto the lower. And a nice solid tap. And then same on the other side. And they're ready to take off your removal tools. And once these are off, you're ready to slide your lowers off. Get ready to bring them down, watch for any excess fluid leaving the bottom. So bring them down, nice quick motion, and then just give them a tap and off they come. So now we're about to re remove the air top cap from the fork. Remember, got to make sure all the pressure is released from the fork. So we're gonna use a 32 mm chamferless socket. Place that on top of the fork, get your ratchet. Now, little tip, really easy to get off. Your hand and your thumb, hold, hold the top of the crown with your thumb over the top of the ratchet. Bring the forks into your chest. And start to undo them. This ensures that they don't slip. You don't want to damage your top cap. So once you've undone that, bring them from the fork. Get a bit of soft paper towel just to wipe any excess grease off the transfer shaft. Now put this to one side, we'll come back to this later. We now have to remove the C-clip to remove the lower air shaft assembly. So another tip, push the shaft up into the fork. So this means when you get at this air clip, no chance of damaging the shaft. So we lift the fork up, 
you see the circlip, it's got a tab on it for you to catch with your flathead screwdriver. Now really carefully, nice and gently, get underneath the circlip and just pry it out. There you go. Now with the circlip removed, you can now pull the whole air shaft assembly out. So as you can see, there's a fair amount of grease on the lower air shaft assembly. Give it a quick wipe over, just to make your life a little bit easier, a little bit cleaner when you fit your travel spacers. So with your lower air shaft assembly, you're now ready to fit your spacers. So you're gonna need a pin spanner with three mil pins. And what I find is the best, you've got two holes either side there, a two and a half mil Allen key will fit perfectly straight through there. So the idea is, to hold that in place, get your pin spanner in on the top, and then just undo it. Get the iron key, put the spin pin spanner down, and then wind that neck plate off. Once that's off, you can fit spacers. Again, remember these are in 10 mil increments. All you do is just thread them onto the air shaft like i said at the start of the video we're going down to 140 mil so that will require two 10 mil spacers so once they're on just do them up hand tight fit your neg plate back on and then once you've done that up hand tight get your allen key and your pin spanner again and just pinch it up don't have to do it too tight there and that's the lower air shaft assembly done now it's time for the upper air shaft assembly you don't have to take the volume spacer off to do this but i'm going to take it off just to show you to make things a little bit more clearer so i'm going to remove the volume spacer and now for every 10 mil spacer you fit onto the lower air shaft you have to move the shaft up one hole so it's set at 160 so then that'll be 150 140, 130, 120, and 110. We've added two spacers, so we're gonna be taking it up to that hole. From 160 mil to 140 mil. When doing this, be careful not to apply any pressure onto the transfer shaft. You don't wanna run into any damage onto that. So you're gonna need a T8 Torx drive to undo the screw. And nice and straightforward once that screw has been removed from the shaft just line up to where you want to go and once you've done that just refit the screw again when you're doing it up be careful not to apply any great pressure onto the transfer shaft so you don't cause any damage and then if you've taken your volume spacer off, don't forget to add that back to your shaft before refitting it to the fork. Get a good bit of slick honey grease, coat the seal, the shaft, and then the seal around the neg plate. Be fairly generous in applying the grease And then once you have done that, nice and straightforward, hold the stanchion, your air shaft, wiggle that into the lower, and then make sure that your neg plate is sat and clicks into place into the bottom of the stanchion. Then, don't forget, refit your circlip, and start on the one end, Hold in place and then just follow it all the way around. Time to fit the upper assembly. So again, we just slick any grease, coat the shaft with a thin layer of grease. And then easiest way is to push the lower assembly up and then just line the transfer shaft so it sits inside the lower assembly. It may require a little bit of a wiggle. 
slide it in place. Just do it up as tight as you can by hand. And then as much as you can go, then just extend the lower rear shaft assembly as much as you can. Then again, with your 32 mil chamfer socket on your torque wrench, set to 24 Newton meters. Same way as what we did to take it off. Put the socket on top of the top cap, your hand on the crown, thumb on top, bring it into your chest. Yeah. Talk to 24 Newton meters. Now you can add the pressure you originally had before you started the procedure. It is important to add the pressure before you refit your lowers. So we're going back up to 70 PSI. Now it's time to refit your lowers. And just the best way to do is to start off on the back, then we'll run them forward. Just so they'll slide straight on. Make sure they're running nice and smooth so you haven't caught your foam rings. And also make sure your springs on your seals have been dislodged in the process of you refitting your lowers. And so give them a quick check. If they're moving freely, once they've done that, lift your forks back up. Now you're ready to add some oil. The damper side will take 35 cc's of 20 weight gold. And the air shaft side will take 10 cc's. So you've added oil back to the lowers. Now it's time to slide the lowers up until the base does both poke through. Eight mil crush washer on the damper side using a 13 mil crush washer. So fit your crush washers and then add your base nut. The same on the other side. And again, wind them on hand tight. And then using your 10 mil on the air side, just pinch them up. On the damper side, 50 mil to pinch that up. Refit your rebound adjuster and using the two mil Allen key. Tighten them up. And then once that's pinched up, fit your protective cover. Doesn't need to be done up tight, just pinch them up. All right, and then to finish it off, don't forget to refit the air valve cover. And that's it. Just carried out your travel change.